Trying here with another video for you guys today, and I kind of wanted to bring this gameplay because it's my first hundred bomb uh, in a Call of Duty ever. It's just insane, um, and also because uh, while I was streaming and doing this video on stream, hitting the hundred uh, plus. I was talking about something and I kind of wanted to bring it to YouTube as well instead of just my Twitch uh, viewers. And basically, I was talking about confidence and, uh, you know, my progression over the years of competing and talking about how in basically in Ghost, in AW, in Black Ops 3, I've, I've always thought of myself as more of a nade shot type of player, uh, a player who has, has decent gun skill but isn't the best gun skill player, isn't the best slayer, you know, is more of you, is more of a part of the team based off of his uh, S&D playing, his smarts, his, uh, you know, his OBJ work, stuff like that. I've always been that OBJ player from Ghost, AW, and Black Ops 3, and even IW. I mean, uh, every game I've always been that OBJ player. I always went to the hill. I've always done all that. But in this game, it was kind of different. You know, this game in World War II, I I played a lot more pubs. I played a lot more eights. I played a lot more basically working on my individual gun skill, working on myself a little bit more instead of uh, working on hiding from somebody and getting to the hill. You know, I worked on pushing something out, pushing a lane out and getting the kills. And uh, it, it completely changed my, basically my view and how I play and it changed me. I mean, back in, I've always, I've always had it now that I look back on my videos, I've always had that instinct, I've always had that ability to uh, shoot straight, to, you know, be that top slayer, to be the person who's getting all the, uh, the kills, who's pushing out the lanes for his team so that his teammates can push out other lanes or get hill time, you know. I've always, I've always had that ability. I've just never used it until the end of IW and this game. Um, because end of IW, I started playing a bit more pubs and working on my gun skill. And uh, basically, what I was talking about on the stream was about how I've always, I've always seen myself as a nade shot player. I've never seen myself as a scumpy player. If you, you know, understand the reference, it's like, I've never seen myself as that top slayer. I've never seen myself uh, going at it like that. I've always seen myself basically being that selfless player, the person who just straight does OBJ, isn't the best gun skill, and that's how I've always been in Ghost, uh, AW, Black Ops 3, and IW. And that's kind of the roles I was always put in. You know, whatever team I got on, I was always an OBJ player. I was always the dude who just hid, who, uh, who the dude who just ran away from the gunfight and played my life so that I can stay in Hill and contest, you know. And in Black Ops 3, I was really good at that. You know, I was a really good uh, Hill player. I mean, hard points, I literally would people, it was very hard for people to get me out of the Hill. Um, and that's why I was pretty decent at Black Ops 3. And IW, I really didn't have that good of a shot at all. Like I was, I was pretty bad at IW. And but the reason I was decent at IW was because of the fact that I used my movement, I used my, uh, which my smarts, and I used my S and D play style. I used my uh, my OBJ play style to counter other people's gun skill. And um, my recommendation, you know, my the reason I want to bring this video out is because. I've never seen myself, I've always seen um, my friends and I've always seen other people on YouTube doing these 100 plus ch uh, gameplays, you know, dropping crazy numbers on pubs and stuff like that. And I've the highest I used to do in like Black Ops 3 was like, you know, 60 kills. And I just wasn't that good. I wasn't at that gun skill level. And my biggest thing about bringing this video out is because basically... Um, if you want to get better with your gun skill, if you want to get better uh, individually, do stuff like playing pubs, do stuff like playing eights, you know, basically just work on yourself, work on what you need to learn, work on what you need to uh, build up, work on, work on everything that you need to better as yourself, and then build as a team using that. Obviously, Call of Duty is a team game, it's all about how well the team plays, but... 
the team is only as good as its weakest link. So you have to be at your t at your top. You have to always be doing your best. And if you're not practicing and working on things like that you're not as good as as other people, then you're not at your best. You're not at the you're not at the best you could be. And that's what I did in this game. You know, I I worked on my slaying. I basically just played with other people, learned how I should be playing more, learned more strats, learned a lot more in this game. And it was such a, such a great game for me. It was so much fun. I, I enjoyed this game. A lot of people hated the game, but I really, really, really enjoyed this game. And um, I don't really understand why people dislike... I mean, I do understand why people dislike this game, but I really enjoyed this game, even pubs. I mean, pubs I had fun with. I just ran around the map shooting people. It was it was fun for me, um, mainly because, you know, the PPSH I could shoot straight with, and that was the big thing. I Now I'm bringing you this video of me dropping 100+, plus because now I could shoot straight. You know, I, I couldn't do that in IW. I couldn't do that in Ghost. I couldn't do that in other games. I, w I was an OBJ player. I strictly worked on OBJ and just grinded out my OBJ. I never worried about my gun skill because I was an OBJ. Anyone wanted me on the team, they wanted me as an OBJ. So I didn't have to worry about anything like that. And honestly, um, like I said, a team is only as good as their weakest link. And if you're not fixing things that you're not as good as other people on then you're you are the weakest link and your team could be better off if you just worked on it and that's definitely what i'm going to be doing in black ops 4 i'm going to be working on as much as i possibly can to make myself better um because this game really opened my eyes to show me how good of a player I can be, how smart of a player I can be, how good gun skill I can be, you know, how much I can improve over the amount of time in the Call of Duty. And I'm just super hyped for Black Ops 4. I can't wait for it. I can't wait for the predictable recoil. It was another reason I wasn't so good at Black Ops 3 was because I was a sub player and the sub on the VMP was just, it was all over the place absolutely all over the place randomized and it was just i don't know i didn't really like the randomized recoil but black ops 4 with the predictable recoil is going to be so much fun and it's going to be so great because people that are sub players are going to focus on playing with subs they're going to learn the recoils of, of their submachine guns and they're going to get better with their subs people as ars are going to do the same with their ars everything's going to be based off of it's just going to be you learning your weapons and it's just going to be such a great great time and black ops 4 um i'm definitely going to be looking for a team coming soon probably the end of july august time i'm going to be looking for a new team uh, like looking for an actual uh, four for going into black ops 4 because uh, July is super busy for me and that's why I'm uploading this on Saturday um, because I've just been busy this last week already you know it's only a couple days into uh, July and I'm already super busy and all July is just so booked and so busy that I'm not gonna be really able to do I'm, I'm gonna try to upload every every week every Friday but if I miss a day, if I miss, you know, if I upload the day after, um, sorry about that. I, I'll try my hardest, but I probably won't be able to upload uh, next Friday. And next Friday, I won't be able to upload. So it will probably be uh, two weeks until my next video. And once July is over, August comes around, that's when I'm going to be right back at it I bet right now i'm just streaming i'm grinding pubs i'm playing uh eights i'm playing gbs i'm semi looking for a team you know i'm, I'm playing with people that want a team seeing how it's going and then end of august that's where i'm or end of july that's really where i'm, I'm gonna hit it and i'm gonna find a team i'm gonna pick go through all my options pick the best options i can get and just get that team get that chemistry going for black ops 4 I cannot wait for Black Ops 4. I really, uh, really intend on traveling uh, in Black Ops 4. Hopefully, uh, I will financially be able to. Hopefully, I'll, I'm expecting to get a uh, job come August, so I'll be able to kind of financially be better on traveling, and that's going to be so much fun. I can't wait for all Black Ops 4 
the the events are my favorite part of competing the meeting new people the hanging out with old friends you know ever everyone getting together in the community at an event and just having a great time competing doing as good as you possibly can and just the hype everything around the events is just so much fun and i'm just super hyped for next year next year is going to be a great year i hope i can do um, do something next year. I hope I can you know get it get it going even more. I mean this year I progressed a lot from IW if you talk if you ask anybody who watched my videos even if you go back and watch my videos uh, on IW you know you can see the point where I switched from you know a decent player to actually a good player and I really expect to I really uh, intend to keep that rolling into Black Ops 4 so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's about to end very soon. Uh, it's only got probably half a minute left. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, my little rant kind of thing. First ever 100 bomb in any Call of Duty. And that's just like insane for me because, you know, I've never really gone for 100 bombs. And this, I wasn't even going for 100 bomb. I just realized, holy crap, I could get one. And I went for it af after, you know, after I was at like 80 kills. And, um,. It's just insane. It's awesome. It's really, really cool. So I will see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Link in the description. And as always, guys, have a nice day, evening, or night, wherever you guys live in the world. Meanwhile.